I'm going to tell you a story. <clears throat> Twas the holy week of Easter, and as the courts were not in session, I decided to take a short holiday with as much rest as I could fashion. During my séjour at Gerard's Cross, I happened upon a distant cousin of mine. Her name, yes, she was of the gentle sex, was Maria, and she was aged about 29. Now, Maria was a widow, and not pretty, but she was considerably rich, and she made it clear to me during that coming week that her intent was a marriage to fix. She was very sweet, but I was not inclined to succumb as her first husband had done. Indeed, the only confection I wished to taste that week was a sticky hot cross bun. Nevertheless, over supper on Maundy Thursday, she proposed to me in marriage, and by the afternoon of Good Friday, I was sitting opposite her father in his carriage. He put on his horn-rimmed spectacles, and he looked me intently in the eye. Mr Merriweather, he said, for that is my name. Are you prepared to do or to die? His daughter was devilish quick off the mark. She bought a special licence the next morning, and by the afternoon she had drafted a guest list and bade me purchase a ring. I asked to see her that very day and explained that I was not to be wed, and by seven o'clock that evening I was home safe and sound, eating hot cross buns instead. There's more. Two years later I received a note from her father, explaining that his poor daughter had passed away, her body had been found at the foot of New Haven Cliffs on the morning of Easter Day. Now, although I escaped marriage to her with a feeling somewhat akin to relief, every time the Easter week comes around, I am overwhelmed with sadness and grief. I am now happily married to Mrs Merriweather, and we have a family of three, two sons and a pretty young daughter, to whom we have given the name Marie. That's it. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go.